So I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little burnt out of just like making pure starter Pokemon videos. I want to design something that wasn't just like inherently part of a trio and I also really didn't like just like the type restrictions I have to get through. Like every single, like every starter you need a water, grass, and fire type, you know, and I wanted to branch out from that a little bit. But coming up with Pokemon when you don't have like an idea or a prompt already in mind, like just coming up with one out of thin air is pretty hard so I was kind of stuck as to what to do. But then I remember that on Twitter there was this thing a few months ago where artists would like ask their fans for prompts of emojis and then they would make like a new character OC out of the emojis. They would like Frankenstein something together. So that's when I turned to you people, the loyal viewers. I set up a submissions tab on my Twitter and on my Instagram and I had some of you guys send over emoji prompts. So out of those three emojis that you guys sent, I would make a Pokemon out of them. I was only going to really do three of them because I thought they were going to be like super difficult and they were but I had a lot of fun doing them, so I ended up doing five. So the video might drag on a little bit. All right, so let me start by showing you guys the first one that I did, which is the one you guys saw in the thumbnail. So our very first set of emojis comes from Orna on Instagram. They sent over this demon mask thingy, a jack-o'-lantern, and this these like twin emojis. So I already knew that I wanted to do like a Halloween theme because of the mask and the jack-o'-lantern. The twin emoji also made me want to do like a, a pair, like a plus or minum kind of deal, like a Volby, Illumise, you know. The only Halloween character that I know wears like a pumpkin mask was Sam from Trick or Treat. For those of you that haven't seen the movie, Sam is like this little Halloween entity thing that comes and murks you if you don't celebrate like Halloween, right? So I decided to base the Pokemon, like the core concept of the Pokemon was off of that idea. So I designed two Pokemon, one that represents the treat and one that represents the trick of Trick or Treat. So to make them look different, I changed like the facial expressions that they have carved onto them. And then I also based trick off of like smashed pumpkins. I was thinking of giving them like little overalls or something, but then I realized that the potato sacks made more sense in the movie sam also wears potato sex so for the typing i'm thinking like a ghost fairy or a grass ghost i realize grass ghost is kind of like phantom and like trevenant so i don't i don't know i don't know let me know what you guys think of this one though trick and treat the pumpkin pokemon trick and treat are pokemon that are only seen on the night of halloween it is said that a trick is born when a jack-o-lantern is maliciously destroyed from the remains trick will rise and hunt down the culprit for revenge Traits in contrast are born when a jack-o'-lantern is carved with much love and care. They appear to reward those who truly embody the Halloween spirit. Despite being incredibly rare, both these Pokemon have become popular mascots for the holiday and are a popular costume for children. Alright, so for our second prompt, we got Broctodon on Twitter with the set of emojis of a cowboy, a beehive, and a crocodile. I'm not gonna lie, this was a prompt that I like really, really struggled with. I had no idea how to like mix them together or where to like even start, so I was stuck for a while. I wanted to make like a bandit type of cowboy, like like a villain, like a like a bandito type of thing. When I realized that's like already a thing, there's Pokemon like Salande and like Crocodile, Sandile, you know, that whole line, they're already like there's already like a lot of bandit pokemon so instead i came up with the idea of like molding this beehive thing to look like a cowboy hat and like the tail of this thing it'd be like a like a cowboy whip like a lasso type of deal you know looking at it now the hat looks more <laughs> The hat looks more viking than cowboy, I guess. But you know, fuck, y you get the point, you get the point. So despite struggling at the beginning, I ended up really liking this design because I think it just really looks like a Pokemon. Like, like Pokemon ever since like the, ever since like Gen 4 have like a really specific look, but this Pokemon, it looks like it could belong like in Gen 2, Gen 3 maybe. I don't, I don't know, I, I really like that it looked like that. It looks really simple, you know? I also really like the color scheme I went for too. Like I said, it's like very like simple, but it, too much Pokemon nowadays, they like overcomplicate stuff, you know? So I, I like that this one is like chill. So for the typing, I was thinking something like grass dark or just dark by itself. I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this one though. Hive Dial, the Honey Gator Pokemon. Hive Dial are infamous and cunning Pokemon that inhabit mossy forests. These Pokemon are crafty hunters that take advantage of the enticing properties of honey. A natural predator of combi, they raid their hives to procure their bait and then lay in wait for an unsuspecting Pokemon to come by. When they do they are instantly pierced by the stinger at the end of their muscular tails. This Pokemon takes great satisfaction in the reactions of its victims. So our third prompt came from Alex Mao over on Instagram and they submitted a four leaf clover, a dog, and a smirking emoji. So this was like the rare instance where I already kind of like instantly had an idea as to what to do. I just needed to decide what kind of dog I wanted to use as the base. Since I have like a broke fucking android, like the emoji for me, it shows up as a Shiba Inu. And I, I fucking hate Shibas, all right? There, I said, I don't like them. Like Doge and everything is cool, but like the Shiba Inu as itself, as a dog, it's kind of, I've never seen a nice one. So I didn't want to base it off of that. That's when I realized I was like, huh, I was sitting here thinking, you know? I realized Clover, Dober, Doberman, 
Clover, Doberman, Cloverman. I was like, oh, I got it. I got it. So for the dog, we ended up going with a Doberman. One thing I really like about Doberman are like their cropped ears. So I really wanted to work that into the into the design. Because if you've ever seen a Doberman with like without its ears cropped, they look kind of goofy. But when they are cropped, they look very like, you know, like very menacing, very like regal type of shit. So I worked the Clover aspect into the tail and also like around the collar. I made it like this like mane type of thing, like a plumage kind of kind of deal. I realize now that it kind of gives off like Dracula vibes, but I think it's like Dracula, like regal. You know what I mean? It's kind of what I was going for. So I just needed to work in the smirking emoji. And I did that by making Cloverman's like Pokemon title. It's the dumb luck Pokemon. I thought it would be funny if like Cloverman were like inherently like really just stupid, like stupid cocky type of Pokemon, like accident prone, but they never end up really like getting hurt because they're like good luck. It usually saves them. So it, it leaves them with like like a big head, you know, like a like a like a smirk smug aura type of deal. So for the typing, I definitely want to do like grass fairy. I can't picture it like I, I wanted to do it grass just by itself, but I need to put in the fairy because it has like the whole luck aspect, like a whole leprechaun type of fairy type shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this one. I really like this one. So let me know what you guys think. Cloverman, the dumb luck Pokemon. Cloverman are famous for three reasons. Being incredibly lucky, incredibly smug, and incredibly stupid. These Pokemon by some miracle have been graced with odds defying luck that have left them with no fear. Clovermen are known to survive incredible feats and this has left them with little to no survival instinct. Despite being incredibly lucky there are of course instances where their legendary luck fails to make an appearance. These Pokemon are popular as pets and their antics have become an endless source of content online. So our fourth prompt comes from Brian Panso on Instagram. For their emojis, they submitted a goat, an umbrella, and a crystal ball. I'm not gonna lie, I also really, really struggled with this one. I had no idea I had no idea where to start or like what to do at all. So like the crystal ball obviously made me want to make it like a psychic type, but I needed to work the goat in there somehow. And like they seem so random, right? Like a crystal ball and a goat. That's when I remember that there actually is like a goat thing in the zodiac. There, there's my link, the Capricorn. So if you didn't know, the Capricorn is actually like like a goat fish hybrid thing. So I got water right there. I got the water type from the umbrella. Since the Capricorn is also like a constellation in the sky, I wanted to work in like a star theme into the into the design. So like I said, I struggled a bit with like integrating the umbrella, but eventually I just decided that like umbrella will equal water. So I gave it like this like bowl on its head, like to fit into the storyline of it more than like the design. So like the lore that you'll hear with the Pokedex entry. So I ended up getting like these like Kappa vibes. But yeah, this, this design, I felt like it really got like held back by like my ability ability to draw. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I really like the idea for this Pokemon, but I feel like I executed it like a little poorly. I don't know. I feel like I should have experimented a little bit more with like the color design, like the theme. I like the theme of the star. And then I also really like like the one eye that I gave it. I felt like that really helped like the psychic part of it. But I feel I feel the thing that's definitely holding it back is maybe the color of the design. So for the typing, I'm really leaning towards like a psychic water type or like a or like a psychic fairy. It definitely has to be psychic, but I want to give it a secondary type but i'm not sure I'm, I'm like i said i'm torn between water and fairy but yeah let me know what you guys thought about this one what, what do you think of like the color design or just like the idea of it in general maybe what you guys would have done because this one was tough i'm not gonna lie capricot the purity pokemon capricot are rare pokemon that are found deep in nature mediating the water in its bowl has been found to have incredible healing properties it is a common practice to leave out a bowl of water overnight in hopes that a capricot will bless it Blessed water will shine like diamonds but will turn black if it is sold. Blessed water can only be given away making it impossible to monopolize. If one ever comes across a Capricot it is important to perform a deep bow in respect for their efforts. There have been no instances of a Capricot being caught due to how highly they are regarded. Alright alright so finally our last and final, our fifth prompt, it comes from Rick's over on Instagram. So what they submitted as their emoji prompt is a Sunday, an otter, and a cloud. So when I saw the Sunday and the otter, my first idea was like otter pops, you know, like the bolis. It's like a it's like a popsicle type of thing. It was otter themed and it was also like ice cream themes, but eventually that idea just kind of fell through. Then I thought of making them like based off of like a banana split. Like I wanted to give them like a cat dog type of situation, but I also just didn't know how to work that out. So when I was looking up otters for like research, I realized that 
that there's two types of otters. There's like the cute fluffy ones with like their little seashells. And then there's like these deranged crackhead looking ones. So those crazy ones were like super long and I wanted to work that into the design. I realized that for the ice cream theme, we could go with like a soft serve. I was looking at pictures of soft serve and then I realized I could picture like an otter like curling up to look like a soft serve kind of deal. Like a like a fur it type of thing. I also realized I could work in the cloud emoji by making like the otter just like super light and fluffy, you know, like, like a real soft serve. Because in my research, I found out that soft serve is actually just ice cream, like regular ice cream, and then they inject air into it. That's why you need like a soft serve machine. After that, I just threw in some like Sunday decorations. I gave it like strawberry ears, like a couple sprinkles, you know what I mean? So for the typing, I wanted to do something similar to like Slurpuff because it's another like pastry type of animal Pokemon. It's one of those Pokemon where you're like, is this thing man-made or is this thing like a real fucking like Pokemon? You know what I mean? You can't tell. It's one of those Pokemon that's more than just like an animal. You know what I mean? Like they kind of went far out with this one. So for the typing, like I said, I wanted to do something Slurpuff. So I was thinking of either going normal fairy or just like pure fairy by itself. So let me know what you guys thought of this one and the, the rest of them because I really like this one. This one, I had a lot of struggle with it. Just like I had to really hash out the details in the design. You know, there was a lot of like failed versions of this Pokemon in specific. So let me know what you guys thought of the final one. Sutter, the soft serve Pokemon. Sutter are commonly found in bustling cities and are a frequent sight at dining districts. Despite looking to be made of soft serve, their bodies are actually composed of an ultra light fur. Sutters weigh almost nothing, allowing them to lazily float like a cloud above the heads of pedestrians. Sutters have an infamous sweet tooth which results in them eating many sweets and then dozing off. They wrap up their long bodies around street lights and trees in order to take naps. Yeah, so that's all the Pokemon. Uh, I hope you like them. Let me know what you guys thought about all of them. Like I said, I was pretty happy with a lot of them because I really just got to sit down and brainstorm and I was pretty satisfied with how most of them came out. But yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram because I'm gonna be asking for more emojis to make videos similar like this. So if you wanna get a chance of like your emoji coming in and go follow me on there. But yeah, just let me know what, what was your guys' favorite in the comments. What are some other names you have for them maybe? Cause the names in the video aren't final, so yeah. Yeah, hope you guys liked the video. I'll see you guys next time.